Hello and welcome to this quick video on top my top tips for better CPR. So firstly, quick and decisive action is important. Start immediately. If the person is unresponsive and not breathing, begin CPR right away. Remember, only one in 10 people who suffer a cardiac arrest make it to hospital alive, with only one in 20 people making it back home alive. Delaying CPR when it is needed reduces these chances of survival even more. And also remember to call an ambulance and send for a defibrillator too. Push hard and fast. Ensure effective chest compressions by compressing the chest at least five centimeters, about two inches deep in adults and aim for 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is about two pushes per second. Push hard and fast. Don't be put off by worries about hurting the person, for example, breaking their ribs. Remember, a dead person always has broken ribs, so just go hard and fast. Remember to allow the chest to fully recoil each time, maximizing blood circulation on your next compression. Minimize interruptions. Minimize pauses between compressions. Keep interruptions to an absolute minimum. Although you may have to stop to do rescue breathing, change rescuer or when the defibrillator is doing its thing, these pauses should be kept to a minimum. Remember, whilst you're not doing compressions, you're not circulating any blood around the body. Get your hands in the right place. Use proper hand placement. Place the heel of one hand on the center of the chest at the lower half of the sternum and place the other hand on top. This ensures your compressions target the heart effectively. Drop don't bend. Use your body weight, not just your arms. This means keeping your elbows locked and leaning over the casualty with straight arms. This will enable you then to push down all your body weight onto the person's chest, ensuring that you are able to maintain compressions for longer without letting your arm muscles get tired. Tank that SH1T. Stay calm and focused. CPR can be stressful, but staying calm improves your performance. Focus on your rhythm, the depth of compressions, and minimizing pauses to give the person the best chance of survival. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you're looking for face-to-face -face first aid training, then visit www.meducatetraining.co.uk. Thanks for watching.